Tonight, a large fire broke out in the heart of the French Quarter, threatening multiple historic buildings. Viewer video shows flames shooting into the air. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson. We were out on the scene just a short time after the news broke around 630, and we've had a crew out there ever since. The fire began inside a building in the 500 block of Dauphine Street. That's near the intersection of Toulouse. Amelia Strahan joining us now live with the very latest. Amelia. That's right, Cherise. And as you can see behind me, New Orleans Fire Department is still trying to figure out exactly what caused that fire. We're told that officers received a call around 6.30 p.m. about a fire at the 500 block of Dauphine Street. The fire department arrived just three minutes later, so a very quick response time. And just take a look at these flames, Cherise. Officers told us the building on fire was a workshop slash storage facility used by the Olivier Hotel. Two other alarms went off from surrounding homes nearby. And as of right now, there are no reported injuries, thankfully. But according to New Orleans Fire Chief Edwin Holmes, there is still a lot that we don't know yet. You never know with the investigation. You know, it could be something extremely quick. We're talking to the property owner right now to see if there was anything going on inside that may have caused this. Of course, they're going to have uh, a little damage from radiant heat just because of proximity. But whether or not the fire was able to extend into the building, right now I'm unaware of, but they are checking the attics and also the interior of uh, all of the uh, uh, neighboring structures. And officers were able to get those flames under control around 7.30. Reporting live from the French Quarter, Amelia Strahan, WWL of Louisiana. Uh, still a very active scene, Amelia. Hopefully we can find out what led to that fire. Thank you so much for that update. So we looked into the history of this building from the historic New Orleans collection. It was originally built around 1835 as a single shotgun cottage. In 1920, it was bought by Hillel Pukov, who made and sold cedar chests and wardrobes out of the building for decades. If you look closely, you can actually see an ad for his business painted on the front of the building in this photo in 19. 1963. Records show his family still owns it.